Welcome back guys. So we're going to work on how to improve functional strength around our neck. Now there's so many different ways that you can increase strength. This is just going to be a way to start to get started within improving those deep neck flexor muscles right in the front. Okay. Because what usually happens is that we get really strong in the back, especially as that neck starts to fall forward and this starts to get really shortened and tight and kind of pull onto that head. So rather than worrying about increasing the strength back here, we're going to actually worry about focusing more on improving the strength right in the front of the neck. Okay. So we're going to practice this with the rotation. We're going to practice it in different ways. So I'm just going to give you some tools to start to understand how to improve the stability right around that neck. So first one we're going to do is just get and start laying down on your back. Okay. So laying down, you've probably heard chin tucks. So this is the same kind of concept. So here, I'm just going to think of bringing my ears out and back and kind of bringing that base of that head or my bun here up and out. Okay. What it's naturally going to do is start to create a little double chin in that chest. So here without rounding the shoulders, I'm just going to think about pulling it back and kind of reaching the base of my head out and then relaxing. And again, it's almost like you're going to try to look towards your knees and relaxing. Hold it for about five to 10 seconds and you should start to feel that increased pressure right on the front of that neck. Try to keep the mouth closed the whole time and try not to get any shoulders to round with it. Now, after you start to feel a little bit more comfortable with that, you can bump it up. So now you can start to let that head barely lift off the ground. Like I'm talking barely off the ground. So here, whew, and if you can notice, I start to get a little shaky. It's a tough one. So again, bringing that chin down, elongating, looking down toward your knees, keeping that double chin, mouth closed, and seeing if you can hold it for about 10 to 30 seconds. It's a tough one. Only start with about three rounds, maybe five rounds if you feel comfortable. Okay. Now we're really going to start to increase that pressure. So I'm going to take the band. Uh, this is just a simple TheraBand and this one you're going to place right on the back of the head. Okay. So I'm going to kind of open it up a little bit. Come forward here. And all we're going to do, so let me show you this way, is kind of holding it here and working on that lengthening again. So not just back, it's not a retraction, but it's a lift. It's a lift. So it's very slight lift. The reason we don't want a straight retraction back is because can you swallow there? If you can't swallow in that position, it's not actually functional for you to be practicing it. So if you were to come straight back, and try to swallow. It might sound a little crazy or you might not be able to do it. So functional actually way to get into that neck is coming up and back and seeing if you can naturally swallow in that position. That would be a good place for you to start in. So you don't need to push it past limits. You don't need to really force anything into positions that it's not used to being in. You want to go to where your body can functionally sustain at first. Okay. Then if you want to start bumping it up, that's when we can take it down and we can take it all the way into a quadruped position. So holding it here and now taking that head up and back. Okay. Elongating through that neck, pulling the shoulder blades back and holding the tension there. You can even start to rotate through that neck a little bit. Okay. You can start to nod just a little bit. So just getting used to how to use those deeper neck muscles against gravity. So there's so many different ways that we can start here. Laying on the ground is a super simple way to just get started with it. You can even start to lift and rotate a little bit, keeping that double chin. So many ways just to start increasing awareness into the front of that neck. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you're enjoying it. Don't forget to like and comment below to let me know what you think and subscribe so you don't miss any in the future.